Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I've got a lovely friend who wants to paint Borpore a door. So um, I want to do a practice. I want to do a, a trial run. They've given me a really lovely um, image which they found, which is basically a sunset, but with pinks and purples, and then um, a silhouette palm tree over the top. So I'm gonna have a practice go. So I've mixed up some really beautiful colors. Um, so then, um, I'm going to paint pot. I'm going to do flip cups with quite fluid paint and then embellish it afterwards with some uh, silhouette palm trees. So then I'll show my friend what I've done um, and get their thoughts, um, comments and, and use that then to formulate the idea for the paint pouring the door to get the right colours um, and the design just to get their feedback from what I've done, the paint pour I've done, so we can work out together how we're going to paint pour this door. Um, so really excited, a brilliant project ahead. Um, let's get started. These are the colours I'm going to use. They are all, I think they're all, yeah, they're all Amsterdam colours. So I've got really dark purple, slightly lighter, slightly lighter than more of a violety colour, um, a pink, bright pink, Venetian rose, which is going to slightly um, salmony colour, and then orange. I think it's vermilion. So they're all Amsterdam. They're all mixed the same. So I will put the recipe in the description, but I basically did two to one pouring medium to paint. And then I added about 10 grams of water. So in each cup, I put 60 grams of pouring medium, 30 grams of paint and 10 grams of water. So it's really, really nice and fluid. I want the paints to dry smooth. I want them to dry flat. Um, so to have a nice runny consistency, they'll do that, but they'll also blend really beautifully as well. For this landscape, I'm using a bigger canvas than normal, so I'm going to be layering up more cups. So I've actually got eight little tiny paper cups to layer up. Now, the sky for this landscape, or for, sorry, for this seascape, is going to be a gradient. So it's going to start with the dark purple at the top. It's then going to get lighter and then turn into the pinks, and the oranges. So the very top cup I want dark, the very bottom cup I want orange, and then the middle cups in between, I will do a combination of the colours to try and get a nice gradient down the canvas. So I'll start, I think I'll start top and bottom, start layering up the cups. Um, I'm quite happy for these colours to blend because I want a nice gradient. So I'm pouring right in the centre I'm not pouring it down the side, I'm pouring it up from the centre and I'm pouring it up quite high so that the colours start to mix in the cup. For the sea, I'm going to layer up four cups. Now I've got um, really, really deep um, Amsterdam greenish blue. I've got um, some Prussian blue. I've got some iridescent blue black by Pebio. And then I've got two of the colors at the bottom of the sky, Venetian rose and one of the pale pinks. And I've lightened them slightly because I want to, I want a darker sea but I also want to show some sort of reflection of the sky in the sea. So what I'd love to find is I could just drizzle some of the pale colours through the sea to, to help it look like a reflection in, on the water. So it's going to be the majority dark, but just with a little bit of those extra colours. Um, the, I think the bottom cup, let's have a think. I think the bottom two, I might not put any of the pinks in. I'm, I'm really going to do three and then the fourth cup is just to help with the edge because I always miss the edges. So yeah, I'm going to do two without pink and then two with the pinks, I think. Or I might add just a little bit into one. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go with what, what feels right. Um, so again, exactly the same. I'm just going to drizzle some in. In fact, I think I'll just do the bottom two first. The 
this canvas is a 24 by 18 inch, so much bigger than my previous um, flip cup seascapes or landscapes. I've got my cups down the side. I've already just painted the edges because this is quite a thin mixture. I'm worried that as the paint pours over the side, the cam white canvas will show through. So I've just picked one of the colours, a more tran a more opaque colour, and I've just painted it and then the, for the sea as well, just so that I don't have to worry about the edges so much. So I'm going to flip them over uh, down this edge and then I'm going to tip them. So I'm going to do all the flipping first. I'm going to start at the top. It's quite runny, so there's a chance I'm going to spill this everywhere. And then I've got one spare cut for the top and the bottom just to help with the edges. So I'll put that to the side. Right, so they're all they're all um, flipped. So I'm now going to drag them downwards. Right, so far so good. So with these extra cups, I'm going to just, I think I'm just gonna ribbon pour along this edge here. And the same with this bottom edge. doing a few little ribbon pours within the sky as well sorry within the sea I'm not going to do that with the sky I'm just going to do it with the sea so any spare paint I've got left I'm just adding it back on right so this edge is now beautifully covered just get that corner this edge is mostly covered so this is brilliant because I just don't need to worry now about these edges so I can just tilt back and forwards I don't have to worry about side to side as much as I normally do I'm just going to tilt it towards me just to get this edge covered it shouldn't take too much because there's a lot of paint on here Great, now I can just tilt it away. I am gonna have to, I didn't wanna do this, but I am gonna have to tilt it because I've still not got enough paint down there. Because I've got plenty of paint. I can feel that I've got a lot of paint. Oh, I have a massive lump of something. Let's get that out straight away. still isn't quite there so I'm just going to get that covered so the C is, C is now done so now let's bring this back up so it's all covered now so clearly it's not a straight C at the moment so I'm now going to just tilt it back the other way
I'm so happy. It's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Um, let me show you the this, this sea first of all. Now there is one problem with the sea. You'll notice it as soon as I step into the light. Can you see all the little bumps? So that is 100%. I know that's from the iridescent blue black. I thought there were air bubbles in the cup. They're not. I think they're tiny bits of unmixed paint. So I mixed my paints last night um, and they were absolutely fine. And I came back to the blue black this morning and it was really, really thick. It had thickened overnight. So I've added more water to thin it down. Thought I created loads of air bubbles, but I don't think it's, I think it's maybe separated slightly or something's happened to it. Um, so I'm disappointed with that, but at least that's happened in the sky, in the sea and not the sky. But if I get, try and get rid of that reflection, let me show you the beautiful sea. So it's the, there's lots of pretty um, sort of interactions and cells and effects from where the, co the colours have mixed. They've blended nicely. So I've got the dark sea that I wanted, but I've also got some really pretty um, streaks of pink. Uh, and that will darken as it dries, but I think that's going to work really, really well for my sea with a, with a, just a slight reflection from the sky. Look at the sky. I love this. It is absolutely amazing. Just look at all those lines and how beautifully it just blends. Really happy with how I've, I've put the different colours in the different cups. And then you've got this kind of moody, angry purple bit at the at the top here really really happy with it really pleased um, the edges are looking good yeah really happy so I'm excited for this to dry I just hope that the, the sea isn't too bumpy um, and then when it's dry I will um, just touch this up a little bit just straighten this because obviously you don't want you don't want that big wave there on the horizon so I'll be back when it's dry so it's now finished as you can see I've just drawn on my palm trees um, and a bit of beach I found um, an image I liked, I drew it on, and then I've literally just gone around the edge of the black with a Posca pen and then painted in the middle. Um, and I've tried to paint, can you see, hopefully you can see some on my brush strokes. So I've tried to use the brush strokes in the lines of the branches of the tree. So it's all, it's all, all the lines are sort of coming in towards the middle. Um, I absolutely love it. This has to be one of my favourite ever pours. It's just so happy and so warm, so rich, um, but so vibrant. Um, really, really happy with it. Let me show you the sky. So the top bit, so I, looking back and editing this video, I've realised that the top bit, it's not lots of straight lines because I poured it on the edge. That wasn't just the flip cup. I poured, I did a ribbon pour along the edge of the painting here. And then I think that's what's extended down here. So you've got lots of cells and, and different patterns. Whereas here in the centre, they are perfect, perfect straight lines of the pinks and the oranges. Um, I did have to do a little bit of um, sorting out of my horizon. There was that little tiny wave on the horizon. So I've just painted that in. Um, and then my uh, sea, love it. So you've got these white fluffy sort of cells that are stretched out. So they just look like, to me, they just look like some waves, some slightly unusual waves like, like that one. But I just think it works really, really happy. So you've got you've got that lighter. So it looks like the light on the water. So the reflection of the sky um, on the water. That was my aim. I think it works. Um, and let me show you um, the iridescence. In fact, you, all you can see is the shine there. Uh, but there's quite a lot of iridescence in there from the, the colours I used in the, in the sky, in the sea. So I keep getting sky and sea mixed up. Um, and then obviously just to show you the edges, it the, obviously it just wraps around. So I absolutely love this piece. So, so happy with it. Um, please tell me what you think. Please leave me any comments, any thoughts you have. Um, do hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.